That was not good. Sorry, guys, on Zoom. Okay. Um, and then there's just like a, a number four. You can add and re remove, and you can add holes. You can make holes. You can make slots. There's so many things you can do with CAD. Um, and Onshape is, is more of a – it's like a beginner level platform, but there's, there's things like SolidWorks and Fusion 360 and then Inventor Professional. Those are pretty good, pretty good software as you get used to it. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the Onshape website. So you're gonna search up onshape.com on the internet. And then, so I already have an account, but you can, yeah, I have an account, but you can click here where my cursor is, create a student account. And I believe you just need this stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna create an account so that we are all going at the same pace. Could you hold this for me? <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my first name and my last name and my U EDU um, uh, email, right? So that they know I'm an actual student. Then I go to student school level. I'm gonna select college or university, but you can select which whenever applies to you. Now we can like search up our school's name. For UMD, it says UMD.edu and it's in College Park. Did everyone find the page? You guys good? All right, sweet. United States of America Italy. or- right, really? yeah. Really today. Yeah. So there it is. Graduation year. Area of studies. It's gonna be mechanical. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but or management. Hey, <laughs> or you know still. what? What it, let, let's find something crazy. Scroll down. Scroll down. Computer science. <laughs> Um, CAD think that's what we're using on shape for. We can agree to their stuff. I'm not going to read it for you. Oh, so then we have to go to our email and activate our account. Boom, super easy and fun. Now let's set our passwords. Has everyone made it here, by the way? Yes. That's okay. Oh, is everybody up to up to pace there? Show of hands if you've already made an account. Good. Okay, sweet. So, like I said before, the default for length is inches. Uh, the mass units is in pounds. Um, you can really skip it because I mean this is this is fine. Um. And this is just the mouse controls. If you prefer something else, obviously you can change it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, is everyone on this screen? Oh. How do I make it? No one is 
Okay, so now that we're at this page, if we go to the top left, we can go click create. Um, and then we're going to make a document. And we're going to call this, just call it part, part, really anything. Um, usually you want to be more specific when you're making like a, a part. So if, if it's like a prosthetic arm, if it's like the, um, the fingertip, you want to call it fingertip. Or if it's like the thumb, for example, call it the thumb. Be more specific. Um, as you CAD, you learn that you, you make a lot of parts. And when you put them together, you have to keep track of all of it. It's a lot of bookkeeping. So you want to make sure that you call it something specific so that once you're assembling it, you can click on the desired file. You don't want to call it like part one, part two, part three. You don't know what that could like entail to. So I know it's kind of bland, but I'm going to call it part. <clears throat> and then I actually have a slideshow for this. So now that we've created it. So you should be on this screen. Um, as you can see, there's a front top and right plane. You use these three planes to indicate um, where you wanna extrude it from usually. So if you click the front plane, if you click on sketch. So for example, in the slideshow, we see that we're sketching on this top plane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sketch on the top left we are going to click on this top plane. You're gonna hover over it, it should be orange. You click on that plane and you click the check mark. You can double click on that. All right, now our next step, so we're gonna actually make a rectangle. So the dimension of this rectangle will be two by three. So we're gonna to go to this down arrow right next to the rectangle. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna make a center point rectangle. So we're gonna click the second option. If you want, you can go up to the top right where, the, where you see that cube and hit top and it'll go to that top plane, that top view. So now that we're on the, the rectangle, the center rectangle, we can click the middle first and then extend your cursor outwards. You can see how it's like changing based on where I put my cursor. So this is how to make the rectangle, but to actually dimension it, you have to go to, where is it? It's kind of skewed. You have to go to this dimension part. So this, I believe, was two. So we're gonna undo that. A harder. That was an accent. All right. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna call it two inches. We're gonna use that same. Uh, uh, dimension feature. Let's call this one and make it three inches. And now you've made that rectangle. So our next step um, is making a circle. So we're going to make that circle one inch in diameter. So we're going to go again to the circle feature. You don't have to choose any of these because it's already on default. To be... Okay, I'm really sorry. I'm just so used to it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. So right now I've just made the rectangle. Um, yeah, you got it. I mean, have you dimensioned it yet? You got it. You're right so far. All you have to do is go to that part. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Two and now to make a rectangle, yeah. you're going to double click. And now you're going to click on the edge. So let's click on that right edge, for example. Yep. You click, make sure you click. On you on there you go. And then you can move it out to the right a little bit so you can see the number. And then just mm -hmm. click on the interface, just click the left click, and then type in two. And then same thing for the top so one. So if you want, you can click on it and you need to Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to sketch. Oh, you already, you already made a sketch. Okay. Yeah, so, so for gonna, uh, the person on Zoom, so uh, the units, yeah, we're using. Uh, inches and now pounds. you want to see this whenever you're making a sketch. So it's a now default. you can go to top view. Um, so click the if not, you can use whatever you want. So you can move it around as needed. But um, now we're going to go to the rectangle and click the down arrow. And then click center point rectangle. 
And then you're going to click on the middle point until it's highlighted orange. Good. And then now just drag your cursor out. Good. Make it a little flat. Yeah, there you go. That's good. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how it's going to be because you're going to click on it once. And then now you're going to actually mention it. So this feature right here is going to help you dimension it. So you're going to click on this right edge until it's um, not the point, the edge, actually. It doesn't matter which order, but you click that one and then drag it out. Oh, wait, um, yeah, just click once on the orange line. Good. And now you can call it two inches. Mm, no, I don't think let's get this. Like, control Z. You see this? Yeah, so now you're on that and click right there on the orange line and then drag it out outwards. So drag it to the right, good until you see the number. Perfect. And you click once, left click once. And now you can make it two. And you're going to do the same thing for the top line. Are you guys good over there? Yeah, so if you go to, how do I get over there? Yeah, let me try to speak to you. Thank you. Okay, so the dimension tool is this kind of diagonal looking arrow thing. Good. And then you don't click on the point, you want to click on the edge, right? So that you can click that. And then you're going to go a little left so you can see the number a little better. Yep, you can just click once, left click once. And then now you're able to change the number, right? And do the same, uh, make it three for the top. So two for this side, and then three for the top. Yeah. You guys good? Good? Yeah. I will. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so again, to dimension, if you see where my cursor is, it, it, I hover over it and it says dimension. It's like this diagonal looking arrow thing, double headed arrow. You click that once. Um, so for example, let me escape and undo what I last did. So for example, I, I click on that, I left click on that. I hover over the line until it's orange, like so. I can move this around wherever I want. If it's in the way, then obviously you can move it out of the way. Left click once from there, type in any number, in this case three for this example, enter, and then you're set. Okay, so our next step is going to be drawing the circle or making the circle. So I'm gonna click once on the circle right next to the rectangle feature. I'm going to click the middle point just like the last one. I'm gonna move it out just like the last one. And this null symbol, oh my bad. Oopsie. The null symbol next to where it says 1.5, that just means diameter. So again, I'm gonna left click once. I am going to Go to the dimension tool once again. I'm going to click on that circle until it's orange. I'm going to drag it out just like the rectangle one. Left click. And I'm going to make that diameter of that circle one inch, like so. Yeah, sure. Okay, so again, we're going to go to the circle. You're going to drag your cursor until you're in the middle of the page, highlighting that little circle in the middle. Click once. You're gonna extend out and make that circle. So now that you've made it, um, 
you're going to have to dimension it to make sure it's the right dimension. So we're going to, are you good with that? And then you're going to click on the dimension tool once. I'll hover over the circle until it's orange. And you're going to left click it and you just move it out. It doesn't matter where it is. It could be here, it could be here. Usually you just move it around so it's not covering another number like that. You just want to make sure it's in an open spot. You're going to click once and we're going to again make it one inch in diameter. Sweet. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to sketch one. So we double click on it so we can see this box. Um, we're going to left click on that. So I want you to go to center point rectangle. Good. I want you to, yeah, drag your cursor to the middle until that or, uh, dot is orange. Let's actually delete this sketch then. We can actually. Okay, I'm gonna go to sketch. We're gonna sketch on the top plane. Okay, oh, and now we've made a sketch. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna go do the same thing. Yeah, now it's hovered. Good, and you can click wherever you want for this part. And then you're gonna to go to the dimension tool. So this is the diagonal. Yeah, right there, you're gonna click on that once. You're gonna to go to the right edge of the rectangle. Uh, not, not the point, the edge. Yep, you're gonna click on that once, move it out to the right. Good, and then make that two inches. So it's like click once, type in two. And then same thing for that one, you're gonna make it three. You got it. And now our next step is we're gonna make a circle. So how would I do that? Yep. There you go. Right, doesn't matter where you go, just drag and drop. And then now you're gonna dimension the circle. So you're gonna dimension it. No, so that made it, um, ooh, no, you, you X out of the thing. So we gotta restart. Oh, try that actually. And then double click on sketch, sketch one. I think I might have uh, deleted it. So you're gonna have to click top again. Yeah, just click on the plane. Um, I'm sorry about that. It's very finicky at first, but once you know how to do it, it was a lot easier, that's for sure. So, so, same, so this is what you end up doing. What you did differently was that you clicked on this dimension. The way Onshape works is you, whenever you click a point, it makes a new circle. So for example, like you did that and you made a circle, you can control Z it or even like escape it. But if I control Z it, hello? Oh, command, not that command Z, that's a Mac. Um, I knew that. So now you have to make sure you dimension it. So then you're gonna click on the circle and you're gonna make it one inch. Good, you can click anywhere there. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna make sure, have to make sure it moves out of the circle. Yeah, like right there. There you go, and make it one. Perfect, you guys good? You're good? All right, awesome. Are you okay? Is everyone good? Okay. All right, so like I mentioned before, we are going to extrude the circle. So the term extrude means you can either cut away from a material or you can add to a material. So you're gonna extend it out. Um, so in order to do that, I'm gonna click on this cube right next to the undo and then redo buttons, this cube right here. Um, I guess the command is shift E if you wanna shortcut it. You click on that once and it automatically goes to the circle, it defaults to the circle because that was the last 
um, input you made. That was the last thing on the sketch you made. So now it's extruding from the circle that you just made. I actually don't know how to do that. I know you can just move it around like that. Yeah, you can click um, the drop down right there. Oh, I'm so used to, to SolidWorks, that's why. This is actually cool though. Yeah, so you guys. Go ahead, you got it. Okay, yeah, if you guys want to look at it like this, so it's in a 3D shape, you see this little cube with the drop down next to it? Right here. Yeah, uh, if you click that, you can choose isometric and that'll make it look like 3D. Okay. How much did I extrude it? I extruded it two inches, I believe. Oh, can you make sure that they're clicking the rectangle when they extrude it? Yeah, hold on. You're creating a new sketch right now. You don't want to do that. You want to double click on sketch one. You good? You yeah, you got it. Like I make it two inches instead of one. Yep. Are you guys good over there? You guys got it? Okay. Let's go. For I saw, most people got it done. Do you want them to explore your two inches there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, on your thing, you're going to extrude two inches. So I'll have a step to it and we're going to extrude it here. Okay. So you're going to extrude it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you good to go? I think pretty much everything. Okay, so I think the majority of us are pretty much done. Okay, so our next step is going to be extruding a rectangle from it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this rectangle 
um, 0.25 away from the left hand side and 0.5 wide. So, where is it? Okay, so now once you've extruded it, you can click the green check mark uh, to make sure it's done. Um, so, we're going to create a new sketch on top of this top rectangle. Um, so, we're going to sketch again. We're going to click this, this top surface once. So now it's created a, a plane for that sketch. And now we can change the view. So again, we're going to go to the top view so we can see it a little better. OK, so our next step is to hit the corner rectangle. Um, for this one, you just want to make sure you start on like the top edge. Like you can click really anywhere, but preferably like right here. And then drag your cursor all, all the way down here to the bottom edge line. And you just left click once. Um, so just like the last time, we're going to dimension it. So we're going to click this left edge and this left edge of this rectangle that we just made. So we can make that dimension in between the left edge of the rectangle and the left edge of the, the bigger shape. I think I forgot what the dimension was, 0.25 inches. And then between inside the rectangle, the width should be one. Oh, never mind, 0.5. You guys good? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so yeah, you're on the right track right now. So all you have to do is make a new sketch. So you're going to click on sketch. You're going to click on the top of the shape, not the circle, but actually the. So you want to cancel it, actually. Yeah. So let's make one more sketch. You want to click on the top of the, the rectangle. Yeah, right there. That's actually clicking on the top of the extruded part. Does that kind of make sense? Like the flat part with the circle. I extruded out of it. Um, so now that you've clicked that, now we can make a rectangle. So we're going to click the down arrow. We're going to click corner rectangle. Good. And then we're going to start from the top edge. So like a little bit over to the right. And click on the top edge. Ooh, my yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're going like to start like roughly over here. We're going to click once. So you got it. So you're going to click first. Click once. Good. And then drag your cursor down up to like the bottom edge, really anywhere on the bottom edge. That's good. And then now we're going to dimension it. So we're going to click the dimension tool. We're going to go from the left side of the rectangle, yeah, that one, left side of the rectangle. So click once, and then you're going to click the, no, so you want to undo that. So I'll click escape. You can click escape if you want. Oh. <laughs> you're good. You can click escape to just kind of undo what you just did. I think that works. Yeah, what happened to that line? I don't know, but yeah, I guess, yeah, I gotta go. So we're gonna dimension it again. So make sure you click on the dimension tool, click the left edge, and then you're gonna click the left edge of the entire thing. Yeah, or er, yeah, that works. And you're gonna just click once there. Oh, a little to the left, yeah. Make sure you can read the number. There you go. Click once, and you're gonna make that 0.25. Good. And now we're going to click the outer two um, edges of the rectangle and you're going to make that 0.5. So you're going to click the same way you did the first time. No, no. You're going to make the width 0.5. So you're going to click that one, going to the right edge of that same one. Good. And you're going to drag all the way up or down, whatever you want, and then make it 0.5. There you go. Now you've made it. And now we'll see. I'll make sure everyone's on the right track. Are we good? Are you, are you good? Is that a plane or let me see. So this is a rectangle, right? Or what is this? Or those are two, one, no, those are So I'm gonna click once on that. 
Mind if I undo what you did here? It looks a little different. I don't know why. How did you make this rectangle? Or, yeah. You click on the rectangle feature? Okay. Let's actually click cancel. And then I think this one's sketch too. Okay, yeah. So you have to make sure you're on the right sketch. So this one was sketch too, like the rectangle you made. So while you're on that sketch, then you can dimension. So now you're going to click the left edge. So where it's the yeah, left edge of the rectangle. Good. And then move over to the left edge of the. You know, so you want to escape real quick. You're going to make two, two clicks. You're going to make. So make sure you click the dimension tool again. You're going to click one click on the left side there and then one click on the far left there. And then that's going to make the width. Thing. So you can move your number over to the left so you can see it. Good. And then make that 0.25. You can click anywhere from here. And then that's 0.25. Good. And then same thing for the inner of the rectangle. So how would you go about doing that? You click that one. You click that one. And then what's the other part? You can touch that one. Yeah, there you go. And then move it up so you can see the number. Perfect. And then 0.5. Perfect. You good? Okay, now that we've made this rectangle, we can go to the extrude feature again. Um, as you can see where my cursor is, there's a new feature, there's an add, there's a remove and intersect. The main two are add and remove. Um, in this case, we're gonna actually click the remove one because what we're gonna do, if I move my cursor, if I move to isometric, you see that this rectangle that we've just made, we're gonna extrude cut it, meaning we're gonna use that rectangle and cut and then cut into the, the giant cube that we've made. So I can either add, which will hypothetically do that, default to one inch, or remove, which will cut what one inch. So in this case, what I wanna do is I'm gonna cut it by 1.5. So it defaulted to one, but I'm gonna make it 1.5. Um, and then once you get there, you can click this check mark. Yeah. Mm, you use, so same one as the, yeah, the extrude feature. Yeah. So you're gonna click that and you can click remove. Oh, okay. Right. And you're gonna click, yeah, you're gonna click on that. Perfect. And make that 1.5, good. You good? Good. You guys good? Or do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, let me come over. The option right that says remove, it's selected right here. You see where it says new add remove intersect? On on the like the, the box interface? Yeah, I can come over. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Thank you. No. So the important part to know when you're sketching is choosing the right place to put it. So I think what you did was you went on the bottom and you chose that. So if you want, you could hypothetically move your entire thing. Hold on, let me see if this works. What in God's name? So oh. you can literally, because it's symmetrical, you can literally just go in the opposite direction. It's, it's whatever. They're like, yeah, though. but in, in practicality, you want to make sure that you're choosing the right, um, like either the top or the bottom. So now you're going to click on remove. Oh, you want to remove. Interesting. 
Let's try that. That works. Honestly, it's very finicky, so it's okay if it's not the right plane. There's always a way to divert the path. Are you good? Yeah, you're good. Nice. Are you okay? I saw them doing something dubious over there. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll make sure everyone gets to finish their own thing, and then I guess we'll have some extra time. Is that a Hello Kitty? <laughs> right. That's what I said. I saw something earlier. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, like, no, like they actually threw some. <laughs> I don't say it. Never mind. You want to? You want to show? No, yeah, I don't want to. Actually, should I try to get it? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, when you're choosing which, like, where you're making the the rectangle, remember the 0.5 and 0.25 thing. You got to make sure that you're choosing this top plane when you're drawing it. It's okay that you didn't, because in this case, you see how it's like symmetrical. So if we have this or like this, it's the same thing. So really what I told someone else was, uh, I just like moved it around to be honest. I went to front and I just literally like flipped it over. That's like the easiest way. Obviously when you're cutting, you wanna make sure it's the right face that you're cutting out. This works. I mean, you can't use these three features anymore because it's gonna go back to that. But at least you can like play around with it better. Yeah, and then make that 1.5 inches. Yeah. Are you good? You got it. Yeah, that's perfect. You got it. You got it. Oh, it's not a close shape. Oh. You can edit this for it. Be good. So we won't have time to do anything. Uh, what else? I think this is honestly pretty easy. Fill it. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, sorry, that, that's why I didn't make it too long. The edge. It doesn't really matter which edge. Yeah, true. I'll just honestly. Okay. All right. So our last step is a fillet. Okay. So the fillet feature allows you to round an edge. There's also uh, the chamfer feature, which allows you to flatten uh, an edge. So we're going to go with a fillet today. So if you either click shift F or literally this, uh, this curved edge right here, you click that once. Um, if you move around, if you want to move around, you can go to like the front view or just move it around a little bit. Um, we're gonna choose. We're gonna choose this far right edge, the the edge that's away from this hollow part. We're gonna click on that once until 
um, it makes that feature. So the default for this one is 0.2. Um, let's make it like, like 0.5, for example. That's a pretty big fillet, but it's still, you can see that um, as I increase the radius, obviously the fillet kind of scales farther down. Um, basically like a, a quarter circle. And then when you're done with that, you click the check mark. And this feature is pretty cool because you can actually like make all the edges rounded. So like if I kept clicking like all of them, like that one, that one, that one, you can really just play around with it and go crazy with it. That one, well, there's limitations to it. Like for example, I got this red error because I can't make a 0.5 and a 0.5 on top of each other because that doesn't make a proper shape. So I can't actually do that part, but I can do it on one side. Um, I'm not going to do that just because it looks weird. And I can just make it look like that if I want to. And you can add, you can honestly play around with it. There's a chamfer feature. You can use a chamfer. Let's say we do this edge. Um, let's make it 0.1. Let's make this side also 0.1. And then, yeah. Let's see if we have this shape. It does look like a shoe. Actually, I don't even know what this looks like. Are we good? Okay, go for it. Walk around. Honestly, at this point, you're just kind of playing around. Yeah, it's, it's uh, nothing crazy. This is art, bro. I should sell this in the museum. That There's so many interpretations. Okay, 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 we did it, right? Woohoo, we made a part. Just to review, to make a 3D object, we're gonna start with a sketch, any shape on an imaginary plane, one of the three planes that they had already. And then we extrude that out. And then on top of our extrusion, our material, we make more sketches and we extrude those, remove or add whatever we want. So finally, um now we're getting now we with the next like 10 minutes that we have to, you get to make whatever object you want and don't worry if you don't finish now you can work after um our this workshop and um and um then we're going to as you can see we have a 3d printer here so up in the hacker floor um once you finish your design we can print it out, um, which is super cool. And I have a bunch of these little like key rings. So if you make a little hole in your design, then you can put on a keychain, um, like this. This one was made by Julia. We were working on this the other day. It's pretty cool. I think it looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, I want to um, put that for myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and if you have any if you're confused about anything uh you can watch this video that you you guys do have our slides right no okay whatever if you don't then you can ask me for it but um if you need more help there's another tutorial right here yeah time to just work make whatever you want now it's also a recorded lecture so it's like I think, I'm not lecture, sorry, not lecture. What's it called? I guess presentation, workshop. I'm so used to saying lecture. All right.